you've had a lovely week uh, back at school. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Miss Ty. I've recently joined Park Lane as a reception teacher. Now it's my turn to read you a bedtime story this week and I've chosen Biscuit Bear. So let's see what happens in this story. Our story starts with a lump of pastry that Horace's mum gave him, which Horace would usually roll about over the floor and furniture until it was deep grey and fluffy and quite a lot smaller. But today, Horace's mum gave him a biscuit cutter in the shape of a bear to use. Horace stamped out a pastry bear and gave it current eyes and a nose. Horace's mum put it in the oven to cook. 20 minutes later, the biscuit bear was golden coloured and smelt lovely, and Horace wanted to take a bite, but no, Horace, said Horace's mum, it's too hot, you must wait for it to cool down. An hour later, Horace remembered the cooled biscuit bear and was just about to take a bite, but no, Horace, said Horace's mum, you are just about to have dinner. You will spoil your appetite. Before bedtime, Horace thought of the golden biscuit bear and he was just gazing at it, but no, Horace, said Horace's mum, you have just cleaned your teeth. Horace put the biscuit bear in a little tin and put it on his pillow. It was the middle of the night. Biscuit Bear woke up. He yawned and stretched and looked about for somebody to play with. Everyone seemed to be asleep. Biscuit Bear had an idea. I shall make some friends, he said to himself and went to the kitchen. Biscuit Bear found butter and flour and milk. He mixed up a mixture and rolled it and shaped it and put the first batch of friends in the oven to cook. When they had cooked, Biscuit Bear dressed them in icing of many colours, hundreds and thousands, and candy peel and glazed cherries and little silver balls. And now Biscuit Bear said, let the fun begin. Roll up, roll up, one night only. Biscuit Bear's circus is performing in the kitchen. Watch the acrobats as they toss and tumble, gasp as the strong bear raises the rolling pin, and scream with surprise as our aeronaut is fired from the ketchup bottle. The circus was so exciting that no one noticed the shadow looming in the doorway. Bongo the dog liked biscuits, but not in a way that is good for the biscuits. Biscuit Bear just managed to clamber to safety. He looked sadly at the mess and suddenly realised that he needed to find a place where a biscuit could be safe. When Horace woke up the next morning, he reached for the tin that had contained the little Biscuit Bear, but all he found was crumbs and a card that looked familiar. The life of a biscuit is usually short and sweet, but Biscuit Bear had found somewhere safe to be. Biscuit Bear is in the pastry shop display. Some of it is cardboard covered in icing. Some of it is plaster. It looks delicious, but it can never be eaten. The display changes through the year, but Biscuit Bear is always the star. Spring, summer and winter. I hope you enjoyed the story and have a great night. See you around school. Bye.